thank you so much for clicking this video i really appreciate we are going to be learning something new today yes cooking rice luombo inside banana leaves it's a tradition to cook in banana leaves in uganda commonly known as luombo so if you are finding this video interesting so far kindly do me a favor hit the subscribe button and then hit that notification bell if you would like to see more videos like this in the future don't forget to hit the like button and then share now we are going into the real business so after washing our offals also known as bienda we added salt to make it to boil with it so that it can soften it and then this over here is our carrot and green beans we had already washed it we are just washing it for the second time so we can start the cutting We then add salt, some salt, our greens carrots and then give it a mix and then this is carrot after mixing your rice properly add an adequate amount of water and then allow it to boil let it cook halfway the reason why you boil it first is because rice cannot boil inside steam without water it has to first absorb water and swell that is when it can cook that's when it can get ready so after allowing it to get ready you now prepare your banana leaves where you are going to transfer it and that is what we are doing Yes, see, you think it will come out, see. So we are transferring just a half of the offers because we are going to use others for stew. Remember, when cooking biryani, you must also have some soup, like stew. Make sure you first boil your rice half cooked so that it swells and absorbs the water before you transfer them into the banana leaves. And then uh, spread the meat. In this case, we decided to use offals, locally called here bienda, because <laughs> you're not the economy now. So mix them all together and cover it, allow it to boil. Don't forget to add water under. Okay guys, as our rice is steaming, I am adding eggplant into our offals to make soup. The reason why I'm adding eggplant is to come up with thick soup. Normally, offals doesn't have thick soup. So, that is it. So, we are checking our steamed rice to see how it is. Uh, cooking you can see there's a lot of steam and wow it's ready it is ready almost so we are going to be going to the serving time now that's steamed rice steamed rice
Oh, guys, finally the long hustle has yielded results and it is serving time. Look at how the offers, look at how the rice is shining, look at everything, look at the coloring of the green green beans and carrot. Huh? You see, I'm sure as you are looking at this food, you, you, you are just swallowing saliva. Sure, it was nice. It was really, really, really nice. So one of the things that really disturbs me is serving and her. Uh, today, I'm the one serving. For sure, I don't know how I'm going to do it. But anyway, I'm going to try. So guys, it's time now to add in our stew, our offer stew. Look at how it is thick. The eggplant made the soup really thick and it was so nice. <laughs> so it's now time to serve the food. We served it to our neighbor, we served it to ourselves and then our neighbors made sure that everybody around got food because it was enough. <laughs> So guys, if you enjoyed this video from the beginning up to now, kindly do me a favor and then hit the subscribe button if you are new here and turn on the notification bell so that you will be the first to always get our video whenever we have a new one and then